What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'll show you how to edit your blog posts with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at editing our blog posts. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so moving right along with our blog app here, we've got posts here we can view them, we can go back, we can add a new one, we've got styled forms, everything's looking good. But now say we want to edit a post, there's no way to do that. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. And it's super easy. We've already got most of the things in place, we can copy and paste a lot of it. So let's just jump into it. Let's head over to our templates directory, right click and let's create a new file. And let's go file save as and what do we want to call this? Let's call this update underscore post dot HTML. That's what we're doing. We're updating our posts, or you could call it edit post, whatever you want, it doesn't really matter at all. So let's head over to our, let's see, add post.html. And I'm just going to copy all of this. So let's copy this and bring it back over to our update post file and just copy and then just right click and paste this in. And here for our title, we can say uh, edit blog post, whatever. And here, instead of add post, let's say update post. And then the rest of this is going to stay the same, except for we can change our button here to uh, update, something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. You'll notice we're using the same form method equals post, the same CSRF token, the same form as P tag that we used for our add post page, because this is going to be a form on this page that will have our information from our blog post that we can then type and edit it however we want. So it makes sense that there's a form. And then we'll sort of propagate this form with the information automatically. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So all right, go ahead and save this. Now let's head over to our views.py. And up at the top here, we've so far Im imported a list view. This is to list all of the blog posts on our homepage. We've imported a detail view. That's to show just one blog post after we click on it. We've got this create view, which we use to actually create the posts. Now we want to do any guesses could go either way, edit view, update view, update view, <laughs> right? All right. And this update view is going to take care of most of this stuff for us, just like these things did uh, for their, their things. So all right, we need to come down here and create a new class. And what do we want to call this thing? Let's call this uh, update post view. And we want to pass in that update view that we just added. And same thing with with all the other ones, we want to go model equals post to tell it which model we want to use, we want to go uh, template name equals. And what did we call this update post? So that would be update underscore post dot HTML. And now here we need to add the fields. And we could do it like this. But uh, we could also do it with square brackets really doesn't matter. And what do we want to update in our blog post? Well, we want to update the title. And we probably want to be able to update the title underscore tag. Remember, that's the HTML tag at the top of the browser tab that we did a few videos ago. And we definitely want to do the body. Now let's save this and let's look at our models.py file. So we've got a title, a title tag and author and a body, I think I'm going to leave out the author because we probably don't want to change the author, we are always going to be the author. So we'll just leave that one off. So okay, let's head back over to our views.py file here. And let's take a look at this. And okay, that looks pretty good. Now, uh, in our add post, we added the form. And we don't have to do that here. It already take care of it for us in the update view thing that we just imported. So okay, so we've got our template file, we've got our view, now we need our URL. Anytime you create any pages with Django, as you know, it's always a three step process, there's always a URL of you and a template file. So let's see, let's make sure we have our comma at the end of this guy and we do. So let's create a new path. And we want to put this in, let's say article slash edit slash and then we just want to add this exact same thing that we did for our article detail view, right? Because think about it, when we click on one of these things, we want to be able to edit a specific page. So what page do we want to edit? Well, this 
integer PK, which is a primary key, which is the ID that every single blog post gets automatically in the database. It's the same exact thing we did here. I'm just calling it slash edit instead of article nothing because we've already got article nothing right here, right? So, okay, that looks good. And then we also want to, let's go back to our views.py file and copy the name of this guy. And so we want to paste that in there and then it's dot as underscore view, just like all the other ones. And then we want to give this a name. Let's say update underscore post. And let's put a comma here. And then up here at the top, just like all the other ones, we need to import that update post view, right? Okay, that looks good. So almost there. Now all we need is to create a URL because if we go back to our, our thing here, you know, there's nothing here that we can click on that says edit. And when we go to this thing, there's nothing up here that we can click on that says edit. So we need to create uh, those two URLs wherever we want it. And I would probably put it on both of these pages. Now, right now, anybody can make a blog post and anybody can edit them. Now, that's not the way we're going to want to keep it. Obviously, we're going to want to have some user authentication and we'll do that, you know, coming up in, in the future videos. Uh, when we do that, we'll have certain logic in there that says if the user is the correct user, if it's the logged in user, then they can edit. But for right now, we're just going to put the link on the page and just forget about it and not worry about it until we get to the authentication stuff. So, OK, let's head back over to our, let's see, templates and our home.html file. And where do we want to put this little link? Let's look back at our page here, maybe right after the, the, the author. So John Elder dash, and then we'll put a little edit link, maybe. Put it anywhere you want, really. You can put it at the end. But uh, let's do that. So let's look through here. Here's our post title. Here's our post author first name, post author last name. So right here, let's put a link. And I'm just going to leave it blank for now. And let's call this edit post, or just edit, and then close it. And then inside of here, basically, we want this exact same thing with just a little tweak. So we can copy this. This is the link to the actual post itself, right? But instead of giving it going to article detail, we want it to go to whatever we name this thing, update post. So I can just copy this and go home. And then let's see, paste that in there. And again, we're gonna pass the post.pk, the primary key of the post, so we know which post we want to edit. So, all right, let's go ahead and save this and see if that works. So we'll come up here and hit reload and boom, now we have edit buttons next to all of our little thing. And maybe you want to, um, you know, wrap these in uh, something like this or, you know, like that, <laughs> whatever, just playing around at this point. Yeah, that looks good. Or maybe you want to wrap it in a small tag. We could do that and then close our small tag there, save that. Okay, so now it's a little smaller, whatever you like, uh, go ahead and play around with that. Now let's click on one of these and see if it actually worked. So we click this and boom, it goes back to our post, right? It says update post. We're getting the same non-styled stuff here, so we can tinker with that if we like. But here's, here's the title, styled blog post. Here's the title tag, bootstrap CSS. This is a post where the form was styled with bootstrap and now edited. And up here for the title, I'm going to say edit. And now we can click update and boom, it goes back to our home page. And okay, and now here we see style blog post edit, right? And if we click on this guy, it says this is a post where the form was styled with bootstrap and now edited. Woohoo! Edit, edited. All right, so I misspelled edited, so we need to edit that. Well, there's nothing on this page that we can click on to go to an edit page, so let's add that real quick. So let's head back over to our code, and I'm just gonna grab this whole thing and copy it, because I suspect we're gonna use the same code here. So let's copy this. And now let's head over to our article details page. This is the page where each blog post gets put on the screen. Uh, right here, by John Elder, let's put it right next to that. That looks good to me. So that would be by post author first name, post author last name. And we've already got a small tag, so we don't have to put that in there. So let's just let's just paste this whole thing. Now we don't need this small tag, obviously. Boom, get rid of that. And we don't need the closing small tag that we had earlier. Okay, okay, that looks good. So let's save this and 
head back over here and hit reload. Boom, now we get this edit thing. And we can change this from edited to edited. Update it, boom, it goes back to the home page. Um, let's see. And it's been updated. Now it's going back to the home page when we click update because if you remember our models.py file, we told it to go to home after we've submitted something. We could also have it go back to the main page itself, the blog page itself. And I've got this uncommented out. So, uh, you know, you can uncomment that if that's what you want it to do. But I like just uh, re returning back to the home page after we do something, edit it or post something. So I'll just keep it like that. Okay, so, so far so good. Let's head back over here and let's see, click this again. And here again, we've got this unstyled stuff because we're not actually using the bootstrap form that we did in the last video. So I think we can change that if we want. Let's see, let's head back over to our views.py file. And in our add post view, we designated which form we want with form class equals post form. So we could do that as well right here but we might have some trouble with this. So let's go ahead and save this. Come back here and hit reload. And we do, you can't have a fields and the form class in a specific view when you call these. So if we, un if we comment this out, the fields, and come back and hit reload, now this works, but we've got this admin thing here, right? So you could just sort of live with that and that's fine with me because I don't really care. Maybe we do want to update the authors in the future. So it would be good that we had that. So let's save this real quick just to make sure this still works with this new fancy form. I'll put edit two in the title and now we click update. Boom, it goes home. Style blog post edit two and it looks like it worked. And if you click on it, yep, there it is. Click here, boom, there it goes back. Now, if you don't want all of your fields here and you might not, I fairly simple to, to change that, head over to your forms.py. Let's see where we at, there it is. And you could always just create another one of these, right? So let's try that real quick. I'm just gonna copy and paste and let's call this edit form. And here, instead of the title tag, we could just comment that guy out. And same thing here. Well, we can't comment it out here. We gotta have actually remove it, but we could do that. And our model is our post and all that's good. So let's copy this and head back over to reviews.py and up here at the top from forms, import that form as well. Now we can just come down here and designate that, save it, head back over here, reload, boom, now the author thing. Oh, oh I got rid of the title tag. Why didn't you say something? All right, let's head back over to our models.py. Now let's head back over to our forms.py. And yeah, I got rid of the title tag. Man, I was not paying attention. It's Monday morning here in Vegas, so we wanna get rid of author. And we can get rid of author here. <laughs> All right, so save this. Now head back over and boom, author's gone. Our title tag is still there. And uh, all right, that looks good. So let's edit this one more time. Edit three, click update, boom. Now it says style blog post edit three. That seems to work. We can edit it there and we're good to go. So very, very simple to start using different forms. Anytime you want to just do what we just did, head over to your forms.py, just create a new class, name it something else, do whatever you wanna do in it, and then just import it in your views.py right there, and then just you know start using it. So pretty simple. And that's how you edit forms. So we're almost done with the sort of nitty gritty stuff. We still need to be able to delete a blog post and we haven't done that yet. So we'll do that in the next video, but that's just as easy as all the rest of them have been so far. We're gonna, you know, won't give it away, but I think you can guess what kind of view we're going to import up here, right? We had detail view, list view, create view, update view. Now we wanna delete things, but I'll leave that to the next video unless you wanna just try and figure it out on your own, which you probably can at this point. But it's a little tricky, so I wouldn't. There's a couple little things that are different, so uh, we'll just leave that till the next video. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So they pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.